Hey, hey, William, what's up? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hey, good evening. How's it going? Nice weekend? Yes, I have nice cooking. All right, pretty good, pretty good. Let's check. I'm going to send something in the chat for you to check later. Voy a enviar algo al chat para que revisen nuevo. What is it? Yes. Uh, pretty easy. Not difficult. Check. Just let me resend it. Solo déjenme reenviarlo. Okay. Though that is different ways to say how are you. Son. Diferentes formas de decir. Hola, ¿cómo estás? Yes. Okay. Let's check. Uh, I resend it to another group. Just let me check. Okay. Okay, mm -hmm. let's see. I'm going to copy the link. Copy the link. There it is. Ahí está. But that is for you to check later. Para que lo revise luego. Okay. okay. Nice weekend. Why? Why was it good? Why was it nice, William? Because I play football yesterday. And in the afternoon, I went to the park with my friends. And... We have a dinner. Pupusas. <laughs> oh, okay. Mm. Very but good. It's very nice. And do, today... Do you always play football on the weekends? Um, almost. Almost time. But I... A bit player. Only for... For fun. I know. Okay. Get you. <laughs> but the question is, do you always play? I mean, if you play all weekends. No. All weekends, no. Ah, okay. Okay. Sometimes. Sometimes I play football. Pretty good. I sometimes play, I play football. football. Very good. Yes. Okay. Nice, nice. Friends, uh, football. Sports, dinner, pupusas. Yeah, nice weekend. And where did you go? What what pupuseria did you go to? Uh, here in Quesalte, in the park, there are many pupuserias. And it's a delicious food. <laughs> yeah, it is a delicious dish. If you want to talk about specifically about the pupusas, you can mention the word this. 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 Yes. It doesn't matter. Revueltas, uh, beans and cheese, frijol con queso, ayote, it doesn't matter. Dish is in general all in general. pupusas, all type of pupusas. Delicious dish. Okay, and do you okay. prefer rice pupusas or or corn pupusas? Rice pupusas. <laughs> yeah, I prefer rice pupusas as well. I don't like corn. Corn pupusas, not anymore. Yeah, no. <laughs> yes, okay, pretty good. There okay. is uh, Gabriel. Hello, Gabriel. Welcome to the class. Hello, teacher. Hey, what's up? What's up, what's up? No, I'm just waiting to the time to start the class after the, uh, the dinner. Ah, oh, you just had it. Yeah. You just had it. Okay, pretty good. Uh, today we are going to study about that, about uh, how when you say, ah, I have finished my dinner already at the end we say already all right we are gonna right. study that or or yet 
at the end in questions. Uh, I have not done the homework yet. Okay, we are gonna check that. Okay. Jonathan, hello, Jonathan. Great to see you online as well. Good to see you. What's Hi, up? good evening. Good evening. With William, we were speaking about pupusas, friends, playing football, nice weekend that he had. Okay. Uh, congratulations, guys. By, by the way, por cierto, congratulations. We are about only four days to finish the course. Isn't that good? No es bueno? Yes? It's good. It's good. It's great. Do you have uh, your certificate already? Yes or no? Yes, I have it. Yes, I have the certificate. Pretty good. Excellent. Okay, I'm glad you have it. Pretty good. Muy bien. That's a proof. That's the proof. Esa es la prueba. Ah, but the other question is, are you learning from the topics? ¿Va aprendiendo de los topics? Are you practicing? ¿Va, va practicando? Okay. Ooh. Everyone knows. Cada quien sabe, right? But the purpose is that you get your certificate, but at the same time that you learn and you practice at the end. That's great. Okay. Let me share the computer for the topic. Let's see. Please uh, confirm that you see that the monitor. You see what I do? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Pretty good. Let's see. Class number. This is class number 13. Class 13. Let's go directly with the content. 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 Okay, the topic, have you studied this topic before? Have you studied it? Yes, the platform. No. The platform. Ah, okay, it is there, okay, perfect. Okay, but in the platform, that is great that you do the exercises. Now we are going to check why is this, why is that, why this type of verb, etc. I have... This is my experience, my personal experience. It says, can you read it? I have visited Costa Rica twice. Yes, that is my experience. I have visited, listen, the pronunciation, visited. Visited. Is regular verb, that's why, por eso. I have visited Costa Rica twice. Twice. Have you ever visited a, a country twice or more than three times? Have you ever yeah. visited? Guatemala. Ah, okay, Guatemala. Ah, how many times have you visited Guatemala? Uh, twice. Ah, okay, twice. Okay, pretty good. Nice, and you, Gabriel? How many times have you visited maybe Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Panama? I have not uh, visited any country outside of Salvador yet. Not ah, important. Not yet. But in the future, maybe. Right? Okay. Very good. That's right. Carlos. Hello, Carlos. Nice seeing you, connected. Okay, uh, and you, William, have you ever visited a country more than once? Uh, I have visited, visited Guatemala one, one time. Ah, uh, once, we say once, once. Ah, uh, good evening, good evening. Okay, pretty good. One time, no, it's once. Okay. okay, nice, nice, nice. Costa Rica is beautiful. Guatemala is beautiful. Okay, let's check. Have you? Have you visited Costa Rica? 
answer? No. No, no I'm not. No, yeah. Okay. Possible answers. Possible answers for this type of sentence. Uh, just let me open the Word document. Possible answers that you can use. No. Simple. A no is a no. All right. It's pretty short. Cord. No. Another. Not. Not yet. Not yet. Not what yet. you said, Gabriel. What do you used? Look, you saw. Yes. Not okay. yet. Ah. No. Never. Another option that you can use. No, never. Okay. Uh, any other that you can think about? Is there any other option? Can I say no? I have visited. Or, no, I haven't. No, I haven't visited. Ah, uh, yeah. This one, yes. This is pretty, pretty the the complete answer. Mm -hmm. Nope. Nope. I haven't. Mm. Yes, you can say no or nope. Nope is for informal conversation. Nope. 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 Very good. But yes, you can use no. I haven't. All right. Correct. Because this answer is connected with the topic. Is connected. Check in the affirmative. You can yes, say I have. Or affirmative no i have not or with a contraction better no i have it no mm -hmm. i haven't that's right okay very good have you ever seen a toucan in real in the nature yes in the zoo ah at the zoo yes at the zoo they are beautiful beautiful animals okay beautiful birds as well okay let's check the present Perfect. 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 It's just right. We can use it in several situations. Number one. An action or situation that started in the past and continues in the present. I it's have important. lived. I have lived in Bristol since nineteen eighty-four. That means that means significa que? Equal, and I still do. You continue living in Bristol because you are there in the moment. So your action is starting in the past, but continues, continues in the present. Okay. Uh, this is since, since, since the word, pronunciation since. Gabriel, in which other case we can use it? Not some perform. During a period that not yet, don't, that has not yet finished, she has been to the cinema twice this week, meaning the week isn't over yet. Okay. This, can this person go a third time during the week? Can she go a third time in the week? Twice. Yes or no? But the question is, can this person go to the cinema a third time? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. She can go. Why? Because it says uh, an action yeah. performed during a period that has not yet finished. finished. No ha terminado la week. Can she go again? To the cinema. Uh -huh. yeah, can she go? Yes, she can, of course. The week is not over yet. Todavía no ha terminado. That's why it says, por eso dice, has not yet finished. Uh, next. Uh, repeat it. Can you read it, please? Read it. A repeated, a repeated action is a... Um, a specific, a specific, in an unspecified, unspecified period between the past 
And now we have visited Portugal several times. Ah, this is important. A repeated action in an unspecified period. Not a specific about the dates, about the year, about the month, about the time, no specific. Check what is, what it matters. We have. We have visited Portugal several times. The experience, it is the important part. Not the time, not the when, is where. All right, that is one. Uh, the next one, uh, please, let's see, Carlos. Carlos, Carlos, or Jonathan. Can you can you read it or Gabriel, please? An action that was completed in the very recent past, expressed but just I have just finished my work. Okay, an action that was completed very recently, just a moment ago, for example. What is the meaning of just in this in this case? In this Solo, no. Justo. It means that. No, yo terminé mi trabajo. Como recientemente. Mm -hmm. Ah, ok. Justo acabo de terminar mi trabajo. Justo oh. ahorita, ahorita, we say in Spanish. Uh -huh. Ahorita mm -hmm. acabo de tener este problema. Ajá, uh -huh. it means that in English. Eso significa. Justo or decimos acabo de. Acabo de. Finalizar. Finalizar mi trabajo. Yeah, I have just finished my work. I cabo de. Correct. It means that. Eso significa just. In why? Por qué? Why is the topic? Present perfect. For present. the present perfect means that. Para el present perfect, sí. It means that. But just in, in simple present is solo. I just need three apples. Solo necesito for my pie, mini pie, <laughs> three apples. And that's it. But this one is present perfect. Okay, uh, the last one, present perfect for the matching when the time is not important. He has read. He has has read. read or read? Read. Read or read? Read. Ah, okay. Uh, He's read. read. I will tell you why in a moment. He has read. War, War and peace. The result of his reading is important. Okay. What is the important part in this sentence? That he read the book? For the time that he in which he read it, what is the important part? The re, the Harvard, uh, that he read that he read the book. It matters experience, not the time. That is something that you have to think about. Present perfect most of the times. Is the experience. What was my experience at the beginning? You visited. Aha, uh -huh, because I have visited Costa Rica twice. Aha, uh -huh, and you didn't ask me when. No me preguntó? When, teacher? No, not important. The important is the experience about that. Let's go with the next part. Uh, Gabriel, please, note. Um, when we want to give or ask detail about when, where, who, we use the simple past. Oh, okay. It's in this sentence is clear. Present perfect, no specific, almost in any time. Almost, casi en todo tiempo. No specific, very specific. We use the simple pass. Yes. Is that clear? 
If you want to be specific when talking, use the simple past tense. If not specific, but you want to talk about the experience that you have, is the present verb. Example. I have visited Costa Rica twice. It does it specific, specific, specify. Specify. Specify when. When. Do you see dates? Dates? Do you see any date? No. Do you see any any year? No. Do you see any season? No. No. No time. No dates. In contrast, simple past. Check. Mm -hmm. I visited Costa Rica twice last year. Ah, okay. Expression time in the simple past. What is it? Which one is it? What is expression time? The last year. Last year, correct. So, expression time in, in simple past is simple past. And that's it. It gives... It gives more details about when the action was done. When the action was, was done, correct, was completed, let's say. All right. What is the difference? Present perfect. We are going to check versus simple past. Don't worry. Clear? Clear, clear on these two examples? Uh -huh. Present perfect is not specific. It is uh, experience. In time, in time is not very specific. It's not a specific in time. But in the experience, yes. Is a hundred percent the experience, not the time, but in the simple past, the simple is the opposite. Yeah. Uh -huh. It mentions the the specific time, for example. Okay, let's see how to form the present perfect. It's not difficult. You just have to remember these two words: have and has. And has. And what is this? What is the meaning of this in your opinion? What is have and has? I have. I have. Mm -hmm. I have. I don't. Uh... Yo, yo tu, uh, ah, uh, okay. all right. I have. You have. We have. They have. Okay. Guys, so the, the verb have, have or has. In the normal tense, in the simple present, means that I have two brothers. I have two brothers. But it's not meaning this. In the present perfect, have and has is another auxiliary, like, like do in the simple present, or like did in the simple past. In the present perfect, they are auxiliaries, not verbs. All right, remember, auxiliaries, no verbs, no normal verbs. Example, have, have has, is auxiliary have, for the uh, present perfect, uh, no, not a normal verb, uh, how. Yes, forget about the normal verb. In the present perfect, doesn't work. No function, a normal verb. Okay, teacher, let's teacher. check. Huh? Yes, tell me. Uh, um, digamos, para decir, yo he tenido. Say, I have had. Ah, he tenido. I complete the sentence yo with the tenido. compliment. Uh -huh. Digamos, yo he tenido un mal día. I have had. Ah, yeah, I'm really sorry for your bad day. Okay, no, correct. Example, example. Ah, it was. <laughs> okay, better, mejor. Just the example. Subject, I. I. Auxiliary for the present perfect, according I. with the subject. The auxiliary I. is according with the subject, correct. I have. I have. 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 Mm, ah, we are going to check this. 
Ah, what yeah, is okay. the participle? The participle is the form number three of the verbs. Mm -hmm. What is the form number three of have? Have. Okay. Have. Have. In simple present. Mm -hmm. Simple past. Have. Have, but this have. is not simple past. Why? Mm -hmm. Because I have the auxiliary. This is auxiliary. Mm -hmm. So, number three is the, simple person. the pa participle, uh, participle, the past participle of the verbs. Okay. This is the past participle of the verbs that we need to form the, the present, present perfect. perfect, yes. We need the participle. Not the simple past. Let's check this. Yes, correct. This is the form. I have had complement a bad day. Okay. Complement. Very good. Okay. Clear on that? Clear by the moment? By the moment. Is it? Yes. Ah, okay, okay, let's continue checking this. Uh, okay, check. According with the subject, I... I have... I have played parches. Parches, have you, have you ever played uh, this game, parches? Have you? What is parches? You don't know parches? Parches, the game, it's pretty, pretty famous. Parches game, the game, this game that you, you don't use. Uh huh. Have you seen it? Have you seen this board? This board game? Yes or no? This is parches. Check. Parches, parches. This one. Uh -huh, that you go play, play with the with the dice dice with the dice uh huh and you move counting the spaces one two three four okay your turn next and like that that is the game parches next you you have played parches okay you singular in we have you plural you plural you have played Parches. We? We have played parches. And they? They have played parches. Parches. Okay. That is the auxiliary have for these subjects. But for he, she, and it, we use? Us. Correct. He? Us. Yes. Like the third person. But remember. This is not simple present. This is not simple past. Is present perfect. For he, she, and it, we use has. In the same verb, played. Okay. Played. Yes. Uh, can you read it, please? Uh, William, William, William. Present perfect. Verse participle. To form the present part, the the, the present perfect, we need to learn the past participle of regular and irregular terms. Regular term. Present, regular verb. In present. In present, watch. Watch. In past. Past. Watch. Watched. Watch. Participle. Tea. Watched. Ah, in the participle. Is watch. Is watch. ED. In in regular verbs, the same pass is the participle. The difference when using the is have has meaning present perfect. Correct. You have to check if the sentence has, have or has, have or has. for you to know that is present perfect. If no have or has, si no tiene have or has the sentence. It isn't. It isn't present perfect. All right. Uh, next, uh, please. 
a Carlos or Gabriel? This part. If we are there is present drink, past drunk, and par participle drunk. In irregular verb, the, par the participle, participle of the verb change in many of them, the three form. To for the present perfect focus on the third form. Third form. Yes, on the third form. We are always going to use the participle. So is the form number three in the verb, in the regular. You don't have to worry about the regulars because it's, it's the same past in the participle, in grammar and pronunciation as well. In the regular, yes, you need to be a little bit more careful when using the participle of the verbs. Let's check. For this, we need to check a regular verb list and the irregular verb list that you can consult at any time. Puede consultar. Ah, what is the participle, the participle of the verb, uh, this one. The verb is behave. behave. What is behave? behave? When you have a good education with everyone at any moment. Good boy, good girl, behave. Participle, simple past, sorry. Behaved is with D. Participle, behaved. They don't change. They are the same. Simple past, participle. Past, participle. Check. In any, they don't change. In the? In the? Regular. In the regular. Verbs. Let's check the irregular verb list. Okay, I am opening this list of irregular verbs. For example, what is the participle, the participle verb of eat? Eat. Let's check. Eating. Or faster, más, más rápido. Control, Eating. press a control key plus the letter F of find and you will get this, this Eating. search space. You will type only it. Ah, it. it. Go down. There it is. Yeah, that is better and faster. Más rápido. Eat. Eat. Simple past. Eight. 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 In the participle. Eaten. 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 Eaten or eaten. No problem. Okay. Yes. What is the participle of the verb uh, cut, cut the hair, for example, cut, cut. your hair? Cut, cut. 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 Let's look for it. Cut. cut. Ah, there it is. Cut, cut, cut. Simple present. Cut. 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 Past. Cut. Cut. Participle. Cut. Cut. Ah, cut. It is the same. Not in every, not in all verbs, this happens. In some of them, yes. Algunos sí. Not all of them. Participle of do. 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 Participle. Done. 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 Participle of feel. Feel. Felt. Ah, the participle is? Felt. 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 Same as? Felt. The simple past. This can happen as well. Simple past, participle, they are the same. Lo mismo. Yes. Or doesn't change, like cut, or como cut. No changes. Or it changes the three forms, for example, like do. 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 Did. Did. Done. And done. All right.
clear, guys, that we have to use the participle of the verbs for the present perfect? Okay. A, a little bit. Ah, why a little bit? I know. There are too many verbs. Okay. To memorize all those verbs. No, even me, I don't know them. All of them. By memory, no. By practicing, yes. That is the difference. Si memoriza, you forget. Si practica, you don't forget. No se lo olvide. If you practice, mm -hmm. si practica. Okay, let's check. Present perfect. How? How do I say? Simple in, past. in simple, simple past. past. Uh -huh. In English, please. I saw, I saw a ghost. I saw a ghost last night. Ah, uh, all right. Let's check. Ah, uh, correct. I saw a ghost last night. That's right. How do I say in present perfect? He has. Mm. Oh, the participle teacher. Mm -hmm. You sing, got me. Sing. Me atrapó ahí. Aha, correct. Yes. Sin. I have? Sin. A ghost. A ghost. Okay. Guys, everything is practice. Todo es práctica. Check. Sí. Simple present. Se le olvidaba por un momento el participle. How many letters do you need to make the participle? Guys, how many letters do you need to make this a participle? One letter. One letter only, and that letter N. is the letter N. N. <gasps> is that difficult? No, it isn't. It's just practice. Yes? It's just practice. Uh, and we have many cases like this one. Check, uh, for example, I don't know. Tell me a verb, please, any verb. Tell me any verb. Run. Run. Participle? Run. Uh, run. Oh, the participle run. is not run. No, no. This run. is... Room. The simple past. Simple past. Room, room, room. The same one. No changes. Change. See? Pretty easy. Fácil. Another one. Otro. The last one. Irregular. Irregular. Ah, right, for example. That is kind of difficult. Right. Right. Simple past? Road. 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 Participle? Written. Written. How many letters do you need to make the participle? And uh, T. Uh, you double the T. Double T. Double T? And N to the final. And pick the same N. La misma que tiene sin. The same N. Mm -hmm. And you have the participle. Is it difficult? At the beginning, it might be. Well, I can see al inicio, but if you practice, not anymore. Si practica, ya no. Yes, it's practice. Correct. A, a mechanic, how does it practice? Como practica un, a mechanic, un mecánico? Um, huh? maybe... Repairing cards? Reparando, si no, no aprende. A, a teacher, teaching. A doctor, practicing on, on patients, with patients. Okay, let's see. Let's see more. Uh, you have the list. No se le va a perder la lista. Está en la presentación. Check the two links. There they are. Ahí están. Okay, very good. Una pregunta y esa presentación uh -huh. la manda al grupo. So... Ahí sí me he confundido eh, con la presentación. Oh, uh, 
but in the first in the first class i sent you the the first presentation and in that one there ah, was a link ahí ahí va el link ah, but la yo pensaba que solo el de esa clase era ese no check ah. the presentations uh -huh. are here aquí están check pre intermediate module 2 there they are ahí las he subido you just need the link Si perdió el link. Ay, come on. Teacher, lo perdí. Okay. Uh, I send it to you in the chat in this moment. Please copy and save it. Sí. Cópielo y lo guarda. Sí. Para ah. que no se le pierda. In, en un blog de notas. Somewhere. En algún lado. En Word. Get the link ready. Si tiene el link ready, no hay problema. You just click on it. Solo le da click en. And you can have access. Check. The important part is that you have it. Lo que importa es que lo tenga. Okay. There they are. Ahí están. Check. 12 and this one 13. Okay. Let's go with, with some practice. Online practice about this topic. Let's open the link. Gabriel, would you start please? The purposes that you order to make correct sentences in present perfect. Gabriel, can you please? We have read the newspaper today. We have. We have red. We have red. Yes, red. like the color, like the color red. The newspaper, newspaper. today. Yeah. Correct. Okay, pretty good. Uh, William. 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 Is William connected? I see you connected. They have it. I negative. They have it finished. They they haven't finished homeboard. They ho they homeboard yet. Yeah. Ah. Okay. In in more in advance in the class we are gonna study this this topic. Hello. Yes. Correct. Check. Participle of finish. Participle finish. Finished is regular. Regular verb. Correct. Carlos, next. Carlos or Jonathan? Uh -huh, in this one? Yeah, he has made a new friend. Okay. Participle yeah, made. Name. What is made? Yeah, I said. Uh, in participle meaning, made in China, for example. Hecho. Hecho, correct. Ajá. Él ha hecho a... Uh, uh, nuevo amigo. Uh, friend today. Friend today. Very good. Okay, this one. What is the correct uh, My uncle. My uncle has... And you... My uncle sing. I sing. I my uncle. My ah, uncle. okay. Don't forget the auxiliary. Present perfect. The auxiliary. Us. And then the participle. Auxiliary my... participle. Yes. Mm -hmm. I see. Never. Ah, okay. Never seen this, a is, this is a little bit different because we have never and never is. Uh huh. What is never? Nunca. Never. But what is it in the topics? Ah, never. Frequency average, frequency correct. Yes. Ah, okay. In questions, not difficult. In questions, what do you need first? Uh, have, have you? Yes. The auxiliary. Is first in questions. Mm -hmm. Have you flow? 
Have you? Uh, flown. 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 What is flown? Flown. Volaste. Volaste. Volaste is flu. Volado. Volado. Ah, volado, but no Salvadorian word. <laughs> Pero no la Salvador. <laughs> volado, yes. Have you flown? Mm. Ha volado. Has volado. Ever in a helicopter. Have you? Ah, but this one is with ever. Ya vamos ah, a ver por qué. Yes. Clown. Ever goes in the middle. Aquí ah, va al, al, en la mitad. Yeah. In the middle of you, the subject, and the participle. Okay. In, in? Clown. In a helicopter. Hey, have you ever flown in a helicopter? No. Have you guys? Not yet. Not yet? No. Ah, okay, but I bet that you have. I bet that you have. Yo apuesto que sí. When you were children in the Mundo Feliz in the past, <laughs> there were helicopters. Ah, <laughs> no digan never because in the past you have. Yes, okay. This one. You, you have written. Uh -huh. You have written. You have written two postcard, postcard today. Postcards today. Okay, pretty good. Let's check uh, the last one. I have I have have live lived D because it's regular. I have lived I have lived What is next? Carlos Gabriel William I have lived Things, times, eight years. In? Uh, in, in this country. Uh -huh. Ah, okay, okay. Country. Since I. Since. Since, since, since I, I. Since I. I was. All right. I. Since Ten years. Ten years. Ago. I have a teacher in that sentence. Why? Why simple past in present perfect together? Mm -hmm. Is that co is that correct or not? Uh, because yeah, it's correct. Yes, it's correct. It is not the same together than there is two sentences. Yes, it is not the same together than mixed. No es lo mismo. Juntos, both tenses, juntos, en la misma, pero no, no mixed. No puede decir, I was, I was live, have, no, in that way, no, in this one, yes. Mm. Separate the tenses. Los tiempos separados, sí, but not mixed. Pero esclavos, never, never, never. Ok, pretty good. Guys, you can continue doing this exercise uh, in your free time. The next one, it's kind of similar. Check. In this one, is that you complete the sentence. Num number one, I. I have I have sold compliment I have sold all my old my old my old computer at the sale, at the sale. letter A A it is correct it was letter A number two 
children. The children have wrong no, the children. Which one? Run. 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 No, I'm wrong. Oh, Letter. Um, letters. Letter C. C. Letter C. Yeah, okay, all right, no problem. Next. No. Mom. Mom. Ah, simple present at the beginning, but then is the present perfect. Mom isn't at home. Is when? She's going to the doctor. B. Just have gone. Hmm. Ah, you mentioned C. D. Sorry. D. B or D? It's difficult. It's letter D. 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 Let's check if it's letter D. Mm -hmm. Correct. It was letter D. Yeah, why? Teacher, why? At the beginning, simple past. Yes. But it's a complete sentence. Mom is at home. She's mm -hmm. gone. Ha ido. Ha ido. Al, al doctor. doctor. That's right. So, it is correct. Uh, ah, this is a question. Have you given... Have you given the present to Mary yet? Given. Okay, that is the participle of give. That's right. Very good. This one. Ready yeah. play. If we... We already literal A. Hey, we've uh, already played. Uh, we already played this game many times. Ah, okay, it's a repeated action. Repeated. Let's check. That's right. It's already. Already is when you complete an action, when you complete it, totally. Okay, guys. Have you, have you found? Have you, have you found C, the literal C? Uh, you, read the compliment, please. Have, have, have you found any information about Australian mammals? on this website uh mammals mammals is uh, for example lions mm. uh, hippopotamus horses cows no. all no, of for, them uh, forma generalizada de ese animal. Um, mamíferos the group, the group. Ah, ah correct okay. yes the group ah, the specific okay. group yes uh, so is c c that's right, pretty good. That's right. Let's see number seven. I have <laughs> literal B. Participle of of B. I have what? Yeah. Which one? Which one? A, B, C, or D? B. B. Walked. Walk. Correct. Participle of walk. That's right. Okay. Ah, we have a uh, yes, no question. Short answers. Has. Has Mr. Talbot taken part in the marathon lately? Hmm. No idea who is Mr. Talbot in the picture. That's impossible to know. But according to the picture, has Mr. Talbot taken uh, taking part in the marathon? Yes, he have. Yes, he have. This one? Yes? No. 
Letter A? No. No, he hasn't. Ah, uh, letter D. Letter D. Ah, all right. Okay, pretty good. Yes, letter D. Remember, he, he has. In the negative, he hasn't. Okay, this one, the final. Hi, Tom. Hi, Tom. Could you see my new video on YouTube? Uh, how you... How you seen? Hi, John. How you seen my new video on YouTube? Le, letter A. Okay. Okay, pretty good, guys. That's it. Okay, see? All the time, the auxiliary have or has plus the participle of the verb. And that's it. Let's see. The link number three contains some grammar about the present perfect. And this is a video. This is a class, a class video that you can watch. So you can learn about the present perfect with this video. The video is almost uh, 30 minutes. We don't have time to watch it, of course, but you can do it in your free time. Watch the video and learn more about the present perfect. I have seen it already. It's, it's good to know about this. The link is number three. Okay. And these other links that you have are for you to practice some grammar. You can make or questions or negatives or other exercises about the present perfect. Okay, guys, it's that's it for today. We don't have more content. Um, if you are, have you already uh, finished the platform? Have you? Have you? Yes and no. <laughs> there, there is a, a quiz that I don't understand. Oh, okay. But if you have doubts, please send a screenshot to the WhatsApp group so we can give you support, administrative okay. people, or or me but the platform it should be completed by now by by today today is the deadline hoy era el último día para la platform así que si tiene algo pending ahí trate de completar okay guys uh thank you see you tomorrow for class number 14 only three classes and we finish thank you for joining See you. Have a good night. Bye. Bye-bye, guys. Have a great night. See you. Bye-bye. Thank you.